Hi, my name is David Leuenberger. I'm Head of Product Management from Optitune. Today, I will talk about Optitune's fast steering mirrors, enabling compact and reliable LiDAR systems. Here is the agenda. I will talk about Optitune, then I will tell you why we need scanning LiDARs. I will go through Optitune's product offering, show you some implementation examples, and then finally conclude. Optitune was established in 2008. We are a leader in light controlling components. We have now more than 250 employees worldwide. And our key markets are medical, industrial, AR, VR, and automotive. We have seen double-digit growth since 2010. We have a global presence. Our headquarters is in Dietikon, where we have a R&D hub in manufacturing. We have a manufacturing site in Slovakia, and we have sales offices in Korea and Taiwan. And we have a network over 28 sales partners in over 30 countries. Our products combine optics and actuators to provide unique solutions. We combine typical optical elements such as lenses, mirrors, prisms, diffusers and windows with our actuation technology. That leads to the following customer benefits, compact designs, higher speed and throughput, better flexibility and long lifetime. Optitune provides four product lines, focus tunable lenses, laser speck reducers, beam shifters and beam steering mirrors. We have a broad range of competences in-house, ranging from material research over FEM simulations, optical design, electronics design. We have in-house testing, including environmental testing, and we have production in clean rooms. Why do we need scanning LiDAR? A LiDAR in a nutshell basically measures how long time it takes for a light pulse to go to the object reflect back and go back to the receiver. From this round trip time, we can calculate the distance and generate the 4D point cloud. The concept of LiDAR has been around since the 1930s and can take a lot of the developments from radar. The first practical LiDAR units were developed in the 1960s at the time when the laser were invented. LiDAR systems can be categorized along three vectors. Does photon detection ignore or include phase information? Then it's either direct detection or coherent detection. Is the entire field of view captured at once or is it segmented? Then it's either a flash LiDAR or a scanning LiDAR. Do the transmit and receive systems share the same optical path? In the first case, it's a monostatic system. In the second case, a bistatic system. Why do we need scanning LiDAR to achieve long range? Here is the LiDAR range equation. So the return power is proportional to the power sent times the cross-section divided by the illuminated area times the receive area divided by the range to the power of 2. In case of a flash LiDAR, we illuminate the entire field of view at once and the photodetector ray captures the return of the entire field of view. So the illuminated area grows quadratically with range. Long range flash LiDAR would require very high laser power that are potentially not eye safe. Scanning LiDAR on the other hand, illuminate only part of the field of view at a time and as little as a pixel captures the return. So the illuminated area can be collapsed, greatly increasing the intensity. Long range can be achieved with moderate laser power. For a scanning LiDAR, you need to have a way to scan the laser around. There are mainly three categories of 2D beam steering techniques around. MEMS mirrors, galvanometers and voice call mirrors. Optitune's mirrors are part of the voice call mirrors. And you need to know where the mirror position is in real time. That requires an accurate position feedback. 2D mirror scanning LiDAR versus 2 times one d scanning LiDAR. The simple 2D scanning LiDAR basically uses a two-dimensional mirror that can tilt in both axes. The advantage is that you only need one mirror. It's very compact. 
but a lot of the mirrors around like MEMS are limited in size. This limits your range to below 200 meters and the limited resolution of 0.1 degree. Two times 1D mirror, on the other hand, um, they use a fast 1D scanner, for example, a polygon scanner and a 1D mirror. The 1D mirror has a large size, typically a few centimeters. This allows very long range, more than 300 meters, and very high resolution. Optitune has solutions for both compact 2D scanners and 1D mirrors for the slow axis. To reach long range, a mirror diameter of larger than 10 mm is required. What is the reason? On the emitter side, the mirror size determines the waste of the beam on the mirror. Small mirror means small waist, means short Rayleigh lengths, means larger divergence, means shorter range. For example, a 10 mm diameter waist, the Rayleigh length is about 87 meters and the spot size is 15 mm at 100 mm distance. On the de detector side, for biaxial system, for example, coherent detection, every photon counts. The larger the mirror size is, the higher the received power and thus the range. Optitune's fast 2D steering mirrors with 15 or 10 mm diameter are an attractive option for long-range LiDAR systems. Optitune's offering. The MR1530 has exceptionally large tuning angle and mirror size. So on a plot of mechanical tilt angle versus mirror size, our mirrors are sitting on the upper right corner. MEMS mirrors, on the other hand, are in the lower triangle. They're either limited by mirror size or tilt angle. Galvo mirrors are, can be very large, but they are not two-dimensional. And they basically are limited in tilt angle. Here is an overview of the mirror technologies. We have MEMS mirrors, we have galvanometers, and we have the Optitune fast steering mirrors. Basically, where we have the advantage is that we offer 2D in a small package size with a large mirror area and a large tilt angle. And we can reach also large frequencies through the resonant axis. We don't have beam shift and our mirrors are very robust and the shock resistance is high. Let's compare the galvanometers with the fast steering mirrors from Optitune. In case of the galvanometers, you actually have two 1D mirrors, and so the rotation point is not at the same place. For the Optitune mirror on the other side, the rotation point is very close to the mirror surface. So for the galvanometers, you get the beam shift that needs to be corrected by software and calibration. In case of the Optitune MR1530 mirror, this is not the case. Galvanometers are very bulky, especially the second mirror needs to be larger than the first one. Our solution is much more compact. The galvanometers suffer from double reflection loss. With the Optitude mirror, you only have one single reflecting surface. The MR1530 is ideal for point and shoot. It has plus minus 25 degree mechanical tilt angle and a mirror size of 15 millimeter. It allows for 20 Hz full-scale bandwidth and it includes an optical feedback. It comes with different coating options such as protected gold, protected silver and dielectric vis. Custom coatings are possible too. With the MR1530 we have gone through extensive environmental testing, we have done mechanical cycling, we have done temperature cycling, temperature drift measurements, we have exposed the mirror to temperature and humidity, and we have done shock tests according to established standards up to 105 G. And we have done vibration tests also to ISO standard with 2 G random vibration over 10 to 150 Hertz. After all these tests, the mirror performance is exactly within the specifications. An important fact is also that the pointing accuracy stays good under vibration and for that we have done an experiment 
putting the mirror on a shaker table and we have basically seen that the under random vibration the point cloud can grow from 300 microradians to 2 milliradians but by setting the PID parameters more aggressive we could basically shrink it down to 400 microradians so we have an extreme good pointing accuracy even under vibration. The OptiTune MR1530 shows proven reliability. On the left hand side you see the accelerated lifetime test of just a gimbal and we could show billions of cycles without any degradation. On the right hand side you see the lifetime test of the complete mirror including the driver. 20 mirrors were running non-stop and we could complete a lifetime test for a full year. The MR1030 on the other hand is ideal for raster scanning. It basically has a mirror size of 10 mm. It has a tilt angle of 12.5 degree on the fast axis and 25 degree on the slow axis. It can achieve a 20 Hz full scale bandwidth on the slow axis and 250 Hz on the fast axis. And it also includes a position feedback and is available with protective gold or protected silver coating. It has a sharp resonance peak on the fast axis. When we drive it, then the peak broadens and becomes asymmetric. And it, we can change the amplitude by changing the current of the fast axis. The MR1030 from Optitune is designed for raster scanning. We see on the left hand side a laser reflected on the mirror and projected on the wall. We basically apply a triangular wave on the slow axis and we have the sine wave on the resonant axis. OptiTune offers a complete development kit called the MRE2. It comes with the mirror head, the base unit, the power supplies and the cable. We offer USB UART and SPI as a communication interface and also analog input. We have software SDKs for Python and c -sharp available. We can also offer it in the OEM version. We have a modular approach with a proxy board, a CPU board and a carrier board. The carrier board, we can provide the schematics for free, for easy integration. So the further you integrate, you can reduce the number of boards and you can basically plug just the CPU board in the edge connector of your main board, connect it with the cable to the proxy board, and the proxy board is connected to the mirror. More info can be seen in the following two videos, of the two mirrors and their applications, and the unboxing mirror video. The MR50 1D mirror achieves a smooth triangular waveform at 10 Hz. It comes in two configuration, one is optimized for large angular range and the other one is optimized for fast peak acceleration. We can basically achieve plus minus 30 degree mechanical tilt angle for the large range version or plus minus 25 degree for the fast version. The full scale bandwidth is 10 Hz triangular. We also have a sensor included that is digital and provides a sensor resolution of 150 microradians. The footprint is very compact. Our USPs compared to the galvanometers are, we have similar torque constant and efficiency compared to galva mirrors. The torque constant scales with mirror lengths along the rotation axis. So if we make the mirror size larger, then also the actuator grows in size and power. Then we get improved optical performance because the rotation axis is basically kept on both sides in a bearing and so you don't get those bending modes that are sometimes a problem with galvanometers. It's very compact, built along the rotation axis and the footprint perpendicular to the rotation axis is pretty much defined by the mirror movement. We also offer a digital encoder without drift. This galvanometer, on the other hand, often provide only analog feedback. Here's an overview of different LiDAR concepts and which OptiTune mirror is most suitable for each of those applications. The first one is flash LiDAR. You have one light source illuminating the whole scene and you have an array detector 
that captures the scene. Here, this could benefit from an MR1530 mirror to basically extend the field of view by basically taking different tiles and adding them together or selecting an area of interest. In the second case, there's a line scan LiDAR. A line emitter and a line detector are swept over the scene. That can benefit from a large mirror that is 1D, such as the MR1530. The last case is the raster scan. That needs a raster scan enabling mirror, such as the MR1030, which has a slow axis and a fast axis. Now I come to some implementation examples. Here we see a line scan LiDAR demo on a car using the MR1530 mirror. You can see the very high resolution. In the background, you can see people on the street. And you can see a truck passing by. Here is a nice example where a LiDAR system is integrated in the headlights of a car. This is a collaboration between Silk and Varrock lighting systems. And as we can see, it uses the MR1530 mirror for beam steering. I come to the conclusions. OptiTune offers compact fast steering mirrors in 2D and 1D. They offer a unique combination of tilt angle and mirror size. The mirrors by design withstand harsh conditions, such as temperature, shock, and vibration. The mirror demonstrated proven reliability with more than one billion of cycles. OptiTune's engineering team is happy to discuss customization of our mirror platform to your needs. Thank you for your time and attention. We look forward to talking to you in the future.